Hello everybody! Recently I've been informed of a very, very, very simple way on how to create a Minecraft spigot server. So, unfortunately, the new way to create a spigot server is going through build tools and doing a bunch of stuff with Git. And you gotta make it all on your own, and sometimes you run into a ton of problems. But, there is a new way that someone has been so kind enough to create, where it automatically creates the jar file for you every 24 hours. It's always up to date. So I'm going to show you what that is and how you can get it running on your own. So open up your web browser and type in the URL box git spigotmc.org. This will take you to a website right here on the screen and you get the latest spigot or the latest craft bucket. So I get spigot because spigot's more optimized than craft bucket, but you can really do whichever one you want. So once that finishes loading, I will show you how to start it up just hit keep and now if we want we can bring it over to the desktop hold on alright so now that it's on the desktop or actually you can place it anywhere you want I like having it on here now you can create a new folder so I'm just gonna call this spigot and now you can open the folder up oops have it over here alright so you can open the folder up go ahead and drag your spigot jar file in there and just to make it a little easier, go ahead and rename it to spigot.jar. Now, I want to address this problem. This has been a very, very, very common problem. Sometimes that you may not know it, but you have the ability to see the file extension after it, like I do, where you can see .jar. But sometimes when you select all of it, it selects the .jar with it, and when you go ahead to rename it, it comes out a little like this, and you just hit OK. Now it's like this, and it's not necessarily a jar file anymore. So you just want to make sure it has jar file and you can see the type executable jar file. So that should fix some problems. I've seen a bunch of that happening lately and people haven't been able to know why their thing doesn't start. So just make sure it's like that, got dot jar. Now go ahead and create a new text document. I use Notepad++, there will be a link in the description for that. So I'm just going to call it start. Now you can go ahead and open it. And then paste the command that you see in the description. It'll be labeled start.bat. So you'll find it be like this. And this one right here, if you want to allocate more RAM to your server, do so by changing the amount of megabytes you want to allocate. But just keep in mind you can't do like 4 and then put G or GB or something. That doesn't work. It has to be the amount of megabytes. So I'm just going to do 1 gigabyte of RAM. And you have to put the M after it. And then, so I'm just going to hit File, Save As, and now just delete the .txt and put .bat at the end. Go ahead and save it. Now you can close out of that. So you can go ahead and delete the text document now. And now you see it's a Windows batch file. So go ahead and double click that. Now we'll begin launching the server. I'm going to start getting Minecraft open. So I can show you that it starts to run. And, and now you'll see what this happens. And don't be worried, just open the eula.txt file, go ahead and change false to true, and go ahead and read this if you haven't done so, especially if this is going to be a public server with ranks and donator stuff. That's very important to read. Go ahead and launch the server, or sorry, launch your game, and then you can also launch the server in the background. So while that loads up, just want to make sure it's all working fine, so we'll go ahead and watch it here. Loading libraries. There we go, running, and it said 1.11.2, that's perfect. Alright, so this is all up to date. All I did was just hit download on that website, and it's all working perfectly fine. So you don't have to go through any of that messy build tool stuff. So this is a perfect way to do your own server, and you can do it very quickly. And almost, almost up. Wait for it. Done, okay, there we go. So now, as you can see, a Minecraft server here. And I'm using localhost to connect to the server. You'll do that as well. If you're on the computer that's running the server, you can connect to the server using localhost right here. But if you're not on the same computer, you're going to have to enter your external IP. And if you want to figure out some more stuff about that, so if you want your friends to connect who aren't on the same Wi-Fi, you're going to have to do some port forwarding. So on the screen right now, there will be a card telling you about um, my 1.11.2 server video that has build tools and port forwarding in it. So go ahead and check that out, and there's a link in the description as well to get to that video, and it'll start right when I get to the port forwarding side. So if you're just going to play this by yourself, don't need to do any port forwarding,
but with friends you need port forwarding so go check that out and also if you get sorry if you did like this video give it a thumbs up huge shout out to get spigot mc they're huge help to the entire minecraft community so thumbs up for them and thanks for letting me know about this uh, service so anyways thanks for watching i really hope i helped you out and i'll see you in the next one bye